And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with the Game Boy Geek. Hello there, my friends. It's the Game Boy Geek here. You smell that? That's some coffee beans roasted. Today, we're going to be battling baristas in Caffeine Rush, where we're going to be super fast, crazy. You're going to feel the tension of a barista, and you're going to be trying to slam these cards down a quick speed game for two to six players, and it's really quick in about 10 minutes. It's got a million different variants. Let's take a look. This plays up to six players, so each player will take the deck of the color that they want to be and shuffle that up. Here I have Caffeine Rush set up for a three-player game. We have a purple player, red, and yellow. Now, in between each of these players are going to be two orders. On the back of these is going to be a coffee order, so this guy has two that these two players are fighting over, and there's two that these two players are fighting over, there's two that these two players are fighting over, and then there's ten more orders in the middle that will come up as things will get fixed, uh, uh, finished. So here, at, what's going to happen is when we say go, uh, people are going to... They're, everyone's going to flip over the cards and the orders, and as fast as they can, with only one hand, they're going to try to match and finish the ingredients on these. So let's take a closer look. So we see this is called a two cow skinny orange pea, and this one's a two thick skinny Engl English breakfast. Now, this one needs... Uh, we have a reference card. Each player has its own colored reference card, which tells you which each of these are. So for example, the SW is a sweetener and looks like this on the cards where the uh, 2M, so 2 times M, is milk. So we need 2 milk, we need a sweetener, and we need a T. Where this one needs a T, a sweetener, and 2 cream, and the cream looks like a cow. Now, don't be confused, a cow also looks, this one also looks pretty much like that one. They're very close, but they're not. The X is nothing, okay? So one of the time, so at the same time, everyone is fighting for, 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 for the different drinks here. So again, as fast as you can with one hand, you'll be trying to place your ingredients. That is a tea. After a while, you get to know them. But again, if you look at this, that is a tea leaf on my thing. So I'll put it here because this is sort of my side here. The other player will play his ingredients here and so on and so forth with, with this one. And so I'll go to this one and we'll look at this. And this is a sweetener. Well, this also needs a sweetener. So I'll go like that. The next one is steam. Well, none of the ones that I have need steam. So I can just throw, I can either hold it or I can just throw this down. Throw it down, I'll try to get another card. Ooh, so we have this, and we look at the symbol here at the top left, and we see that this is milk. And this one needs two milk, so I have one. Now, look, I have three things there, and we still need two milk, a sweetener, so all this thing needs is a milk to be finished. Now, if the red player plays the last one, he says order up, he's completed this. He takes this and all of my cards, and he puts it in his pile over here because he just scored basically one point for doing that, and then another card would come out, and we would continue this way going. Now, you can go, once your deck is empty, um, basically you'll be shuffling it back up. You can use two hands then, and you would start again. So essentially, you're trying to finish the last ingredient. That's how you get the points, and this will continue until all these cards run out. If you're playing a two-player game, essentially two of them are going to, all four are going to be between you and the other person, but uh, you'll get to see two the right way, and they'll get to see two right, the right way. And as you place cards, you'll be placing them uh, actually on the bottom, and he'll be placing his on the top. That's the two-player way to play. You could play a team variant where two of you are kind of sitting together, and you would mix these and shuffle these together, and then whoever's color it is, that's the person who's going to place that one at a time. There's also a variant where the opponents get part of the tip. So in this, instead of this being $1 at the end of the, the game, like it normally is, it's $2. So if I play this order up, the last one on this one, I would get all these cards. Normally I would just get this $1 and all these cards. But in this variant, this is going to be $2, but it's 50 cents minus for each of my opponents. So it actually gives them some points for, for, for not winning this and finishing the order, but actually placing it down. So this would be $2. Minus $1.50, so this person would get 50 cents for this instead of the normal $1 in the regular variant. You could play a size variant where tall, grande, or giganto for three, four, or five ingredients needed is going to be worth three, four, or five dollars tips at the end. So the, the bigger the cup, the more ingredients, the more points. Basically one point per total ingredient. There's another variant where you have a latte card, and when you finish an order, instead of putting a last 
um, the last ingredient on an order and, and, and collecting it and saying order up, you can put it just to the side and then you're trying to find this latte card. Now this, when you draw it, you can put it in your prep area to the side and then you can try to place it on it and, and get, the, get the order and double your amount. But if you don't have this card yet and you're, you're trying to press your luck to get it and the other team puts it on there, they can score it for you from you without even having to put any more ingredients there. So we have a press your luck uh, aspect as well. And there's plenty of other, actually, there's three or four other variants, but that's pretty much how you play the game. All right, there is Caffeine Rush. Now I typically love speed games and I do like the coffee theme even though I don't really like coffee. Uh, so I was really interested in this game. Uh, and it was done by Daryl Andrews and Steven Sawyer, Sawyer. Uh, and they actually designed almost the game that almost made my surprise hit of the year for 2014, which was The Walled City, uh, which was a really good game. And so I was really excited to see what they had done with this. Um, and unfortunately, I did not like this game um, at all, actually. Um, and I'm not sure... So they're good designers, obviously, because I love their first game. So I have to assume that the aspect of be doing things fast, but yet on the cup you have letter symbols, and those letter symbols turn into what you need to get, but then what you need to get then turns into a symbol, and some of those symbols are quite close to each other, like the cows. So you have this to this to this, and it's like a three-step process to figure out where does this card go. And I'm just gonna assume that this was not an overlooking of R&R games by making it an easier way to do this so it's really just a speed game, blah, 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 blah. I'm assuming, because they make great games and they're, they're very good at this. So I'm gonna assume that this was designed in by these good designers who said, okay, let's make a game where You've got to, you know, you've got to do a couple of different stages before it's a speed game, but you've got to think three stages through it in order to put the card down. Now, obviously, after you play the game a lot, you'll get to know them, but that's one of the reasons why I didn't like it, because speed games, it's one of those games where I want to bring to a party, and I want to be able to just throw it down, tell someone it goes, go, and then they have just as much turn chance as you do, even though you've played it many times, to win if they're faster than you. This game would really give the person the advantage to who's played it a lot of times because of that multiple, this symbol means that, which means that, let's go with that. And I found it more of mental gymnastics that was a slow speed game <laughs> than a speed game. And of course you'd get better over time, but I did not find that interesting or fun at all, unfortunately. So I love the theme. I love these designers actually, but this one just missed the mark in every respect for me. So I can't uh, recommend this. I do like the fact that they put in a ton of variants. So if you don't like the base game, there's a ton of different ways to change the game and maybe you'll like one of those. But for me, for a speed game, I want it to be straightforward. I want it to blow out speed. I want it to be fun. Uh, I don't want to have to do too much thinking. I don't want to have to convert things to things to things before I can figure out what it is. So for me, this was a, this was a miss by far. Um, but you might like it. You should know by the end of my review. That's Caffeine Rush. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. <laughs>